Welcome to the Corner Post channel, your ultimate source for all things football. Dive into the exhilarating world of the beautiful game with us as we bring you the latest updates, breaking news, in-depth analyses, and exclusive insights into the footballing universe. From electrifying match highlights to expert commentary, transfer rumors to tactical masterstrokes, join us on this thrilling ride through the highs and lows of the footballing landscape. Whether you're a die-hard fan or a casual enthusiast, get ready to score big on all the football news you crave, right here on the Corner Post channel. Sergio Ramos was sent off for the 29th time in his career as Sevilla lost 2-1 at Real Sociedad. The ex-Real Madrid in Spain defender was dismissed for a sliding tackle on Braz Mendes in the 88th minute. Sunday's dismissal extends the 37-year-old's record for the reddest cards in La Liga history to 21. Sevilla winger Jesus Navas, 38, was sent off in a La Liga game for the first time in his career for protesting the decision. Ramos has been sent off more times in the 21st century than any other player, ahead of Rafael Marquez, 21, and Felipe Melo, 20. He was booked on 82 minutes and sent off six minutes later after being given a second yellow card, which the referee changed to a straight red after viewing his pitch side monitor. Real Sociedad took the lead through an early own goal by Sevilla goalkeeper Marko Dmitrovic before Umar Sadik fired in a superb effort from 25 yards. Youssef Al-Naziri pulled one back through a deflected header and the Morocco forward almost equalized when he thumped a shot against a post. Ramos was then shown his first red card since rejoining his hometown club in the summer. Sevilla are now seven league games without a win and have slipped to 15th in the table while the hosts climbed to 5th. Everton 0-3 Manchester United Alejandro Garnacho's glorious goal helps Eric Ten Hag side up to 6th. Report and free match highlights as Alejandro Garnacho's sensational strike sets Manchester United on the way to victory with Marcus Rashford's penalty and Anthony Marshall's finish completing the win. Everton remain 19th in Premier League table following 10-point deduction. Manchester United moved up to 6th in the Premier League table with a 3-0 win over Everton at Goodison Park that was lit up by Alejandro Garnacho's acrobatic goal. His stunning overhead kick put United ahead inside three minutes, and though Everton had chances to level it, Marcus Rashford's penalty and Anthony Marshall's neat finish put it beyond Seam Dyke's side in their first game since being deducted 10 points. The defeat means Everton remain 19th, while Eric Ten Hag's fifth win in six Premier League games, one achieved while he was watching on from the stands serving a touchline suspension means United are now only six points off the top of the table. How Man Ud won it. As a result of that 10-point deduction for a breach of profit and sustainability rules, handed down by an independent commission and imposed with immediate effect, Everton began the day five points from safety following Luton's win on Saturday. Supporters made their feelings known just as the players and staff had. All we can affect is what's in front of us, Dominic Calvert-Lewin said beforehand. In their program notes, Seam Dyke, Seamus Coleman, and Kevin Thelwell shared similar sentiments. United could have been impacted by the atmosphere of righteous indignation among the home support. That is their fuel, Ten Hag had said. We have to match those standards. They more than did so in the opening minutes, taking control from the outset. Everton barely had a kick of the ball when Victor Lindelof's sweeping pass found Marcus Rashford on the flank and Diogo Dalot crossed for Garnaco. There could be no anticipating what followed. His acrobatic volley found the far corner of Jordan Pickford's net. X reacts to incredible Alejandro Garnacho overhead kick against Everton. Why Pep Guardiola continues to criticize Man City's home crowd. 
Pep Guardiola demanded more from Man City's fans during a 1-1 draw with Liverpool. This is not the first time that the manager has called for more noise at the Etihad. Guardiola has also criticized City's home attendances in the past. Yet there wasn't much noise to shush at the Etihad Stadium. According to Manchester City manager Pep Guardiola, at least, for a meeting between the Premier League's top two at the time, the latest edition of the defining rivalry of modern English football, it did seem somewhat subdued. On numerous occasions throughout the contest, Guardiola turned away from the pitch and towards the stands filled with 53,289 quiet souls, pointing at his ears and flapping his arms. This is not the first time Guardiola has played the role of an exasperated conductor. What did Pep Guardiola say about Man City's home fans after the 1-1 draw with Liverpool? Despite lacking the control that he craves, Guardiola was effusive in his praise of City's players. It was an excellent performance, he said with a hollow tone that didn't inspire great confidence in his words. It was really, really, really good. We always made the right decisions, Guardiola reviewed, before adding. Yes, we missed a bit of spark. The Catalan coach was fiercely cagey when the topic of his scuffle with Darwin Nunes was raised post-game, but proved far more willing to pile in on his own supporters. When quizzed on why he had repeatedly gestured towards the crowd, Guardiola simply explained that he wanted some more noise. Liverpool boss Jurgen Klopp had bemoaned the lunchtime kickoff immediately after an international break, given the limited training time it afforded each squad. Guardiola also had an issue with the scheduling. It's 12.30. We were still in the sheets, sleeping, he sniped. I like noise against Liverpool, but it didn't happen. When it doesn't happen, you have to play better to make the crowd follow us. Roy Keane brutally destroys Eric Ten Hag over Bruno Fernandes' decision that proves Manut are long way off rivals. It famously takes a lot to please Roy Keane, especially around Manchester United, and the Sky Sports pundit again showed why he thinks standards at the club had dramatically taken a tumble despite Sunday's superb 3-0 win at Everton. The Red Devils traveled to Goodison Park facing an Everton team still reeling from the Premier League's decision to dock them 10 points. And despite Manchester United claiming a handsome 3-0 win, courtesy of an absolutely spectacular Alejandro Garnarco opener, a Marcus Rashford penalty and a third from Anthony Marshall, Keane was still far from pleased. Indeed, Eric Ten Hag's side were good value for the win that ensures their perfect Premier League form in November continues. They now have three wins from three, scoring five goals without reply in the process, to fire themselves up to sixth in table and close that gap on the top four to just four points. Newcastle makes official approach for Bundesliga goal scorer second to Harry Kane. Team Talk can confirm that Newcastle have begun the process of trying to bring Sir Howe Giresi to the club and have spoken with the players' agents and Stuttgart about the structure of a deal. Thanks for joining us on the Corner Post channel. Please like the video and subscribe to our channel. We hope you've enjoyed the thrill of the game through our updates, analyses, and exclusive insights. Stay tuned for more exciting football news and stories. Remember to keep the passion for the beautiful game alive and kicking until next time. Whether you're on or off the field, the love for football never stops, and neither do we. See you soon, and until then, Keep the football spirit soaring high with the Corner Post channel.